norm reference tests are calculated by using z scores and t scores and we'll not go too far into that but I'll show you a few here's the Wexler IQ test score and they can determine whether you are special needs or normal or genius based on your IQ scale the GRE, the SAT, and the ACT are also norm referenced and you can just, uh, also determine whether you are special needs, normal, or gifted using those norm reference scores. The Stanford Binet is another intelligence test and it's always important to remember that intelligence is potential and some people exceed their potential and some people don't live up to their potential so always keep that in mind also some people don't test very well so don't use this as a 100 percent guide so how are these scores uh, alike how are they different the z-score conversion is where you take scores make a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Using these z-scores you can then calculate t-scores and a t-score simply takes the score standard deviation times the z-score and add the mean to it. So you can go from the t-score to the z-score and back. If you know the standard deviation and the mean of a norm reference test you can uh, draw the bell-shaped curve that you saw. For example, the SAT has a mean of 500 and a standard deviation of 100. So putting 500 in the center and then 400 and 600 on either side of it, you begin to construct your bell-shaped curve. The high IQ societies go over to the highest percentile and look at those as their cutoff. So if you make a 29 for the ACT, you're eligible for Mensa. But in order to get in the triple nine society, you'd have to score 32 out of a possible 36. If you add the math and verbal part of the GRE, again, you can find the cutoffs for Mensa, Intertel, and the triple nine society. And putting it all together, you can have a graph showing exactly where the cutoff is for Mensa, Intertel, and the triple nine society and you can see how you can get into that or any one of those organizations using your ACT scores, your SAT scores, or your IQ test.